Greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and today June 24, 2018. And I'm in a very interesting place. Today I'm in apiary of my friend Vasil Priyatilenko. And today actually the uh, day is a little bit cloudy. Yesterday was a rainy, so that's why honeybee is not very busy. We're well, busy, but not so as usual. That's why we have opportunity to sit down here uh, very close, on a cl very close distance near the beehive. And I will tell you the story about how this beehive is working. If you are interested in a new technology, in a new effective Ukrainian beehives, so this will be the story about it. I am able without this whale. Fortunately, we are not very active today, but still just flying around. So I will be trying to be careful. What's about it? Ukrainian effective beehive of modification of Vasil Priyatilenko. This is a story, because if you have not seen yet uh, my another stories on my channel, so I will tell you how it's working. Because uh, this beehive is standing here, uh, these two modifications standing here, one modification like this, middle, this is the second, and the next one is still the same. So they color it in uh, Ukrainian national flag colors, yellow and blue. And what is the most important part of this modification of Bihai, which was invented by Vasil Priyatilenko, a very creative Ukrainian beekeeper who just made these beehives himself, just with his hands on his uh, very little small factory. But I will tell you how it's working. So the most important part, this is a frame. This is uh, the frame. Actually, the frame is, looks like the same as another frames uh, of another beehives, but this is very special frame because of the present of this uh, metallic and shaped top bar. Right, I already showed it, and so you can recognize how it looks like. So this is top bar, not done from uh, wood, but this is metallic, and this is M-shaped top bar with size 7 to 7 millimeters. So why we did it? Why he did it? Actually, this is very important and I will tell you how it's going on. And actually, this size of this frame is the standard Ukrainian size. So this is here 265 and here uh, 460. If I am not wrong, uh, 415 millimeters. So, and we use standard foundation, standard worked foundation. And why this frame is very useful? Because this is a narrow lawn. So, and for, uh, bee, uh, for honeybees, it's very useful, especially in conditions of Ukraine, to overwinter on this type of uh, frame. Because if uh, honeybees are overwintering, so we are moving the club from here to upward, and they're just using the uh, honey slowly and effectively everything and we do not die during the winter so very good for overwintering but what's about the frame frame is very special and why it's very special because it's standing inside this beehive right and you see here it's standing here inside this is a size like that so eight frames will be inside eight frame will be inside this is the first part eight frames and what will be on the top? On the top, this is the second story, because this is multi-story beehive. We need to use all together three stories, three boxes. Number one, number two, and number three just down there. Now we use just, just only two, because actually harvest is not very high at the present time, so two will be good enough. For, for beginning, this is a down part, this part, we call it brood section, brood section, because on this section with these frames, honeybees will develop in and will make in just the brood. So this uh, foundation will be very useful for creating the colony here. So the first part will be colony, just the brood section, eight frames. And on the top will be again eight frames, but another size, 265, like this, like quadrate quadrated frames and again with the metallic top bar so and here will be eight frames but the most important that we are standing here 
just in front of like this. Yeah. So we are standing cross in the cross position. Why are they standing on the cross position? Because it's providing very interesting peculiarities of this beehive. Uh, first of all, here also very narrow bar. Here six, uh, seven millimeters on seven millimeters, but downside this is a wooden. It's a good enough. On the top this is metallic, and and when we put it all together, so we do not use here the gap between. Be careful. Uh, between two stories. They are standing all together and they are just crosswise standing here without a gap between boxes. Why no gap between boxes? Because if we put uh, these quadrate frames on the top, this again like this quadrate frames on the top, so they are in the cross position and this very narrow foundation, uh, this very narrow top bar will provide in the opportunity that honeybees will squeeze between all these small trees, between all these frames here. Because if I are standing like that, okay, and we put here next one, like that, the, this upper side do not close uh, all the, here the surface, and honeybees can easily move from here from uh, the down wide, narrow wide, narrow, narrow long frames to these quadrate frames. They move coming from down up and then again up. So they're moving very easily without any stop. If you're just making a gap, they will stop and will decide. Go upstairs or not go upstairs. They will still thinking and making some break in their work. And again for queen and for working bees. If there is no gap, they easily move. And it's creating just united colony all together. All together. And by the way, of course, this uh, second part here, on this uh, second story, which is used like that, is used especially for collecting honey. So this on the top will be collected honey here only. So we will harvest honey from the top. Here will be just good enough space for the colony and on the top will be good enough for collection for harvesting honey but this is for uh, not very big colony but if a colony is a big one we use three frame for that we use like that on the down we put quadrated quadrate story on the down then brood box and then again next one on the top again but in also in the cross position. All these three boxes will have cross positioning of frames. Down, middle and on the tops. Like, oh, yeah, like this, like that, and like that. Yes. So they're all in a cross position. Of course we put here foundation already just uh, grown with, which has been built by honeybees down there. And on the top we use a new foundation here for uh, collecting honey. So uh, honeybees will create all here cells themselves. If we put here we already built it foundation, so the colony will grow down. The colony will grow down. And on the top will be just the honey section, only harvesting section. So, for, so you see, like this. And this is all will be united colony because we don't use a gap between the down section, middle section, and also between middle section and the top se section. The all, all these frames united together. So you can say they will be just attached too much between them. So because no gap and because of uh, all frames attached to each other. Yes, this is a good suggestion, but nevertheless, this already experienced during many years, during already nine years of experience, it's quite easy to attach, to create all these colonies together and also dismount it. Dismount it. The upper box, upper story easily can be dismounted and the middle one and the down one. But actually 
uh, when it's working, you do not need to dismount it. This is a good story. Because if you already mounted two boxes like this, two boxes like this. So this will be um, a very big and strong colony. So here eight frames and here eight frames. So good colony growing. And so you don't need to check what's going on inside. So I call it this is, will be like the mm, uh, beehive for weekends. For weekends so you can visit your apiary, you can visit your couple beehive or more and just check it how we're working. We do not worry, just we're not so maybe irritated. Okay, so you don't need to check what's going inside, what's going inside your uh, beehive. So all beehive will be working. You need only just to wait, to wait, because if you mounted all two boxes, on the top will be visible section. Visible section, mm, like here. Mm, yeah, hope so it's visible like here and on the top the ro this roof you must close it with plastic with plastic or with a, uh, plastic silicone on the top so it's covered so the roof will be transparent and through the roof you can easily check the situation how the colony is growing and if on the top will already just grown part you can decide what it will be doing what we all will be doing the next and the next part on the top, you need also to put, especially in, in the summertime, this metallic sheet, like this. Yes, plastic, and then metallic sheet, like this. Yeah, this. With, uh, it's done from iron, because this is for this section, so it's quadrated. Also, this is, and this uh, second one, this is a bigger box for second, uh, for second modification, like here. Oh, honey, so go. This is providing actually concentration of water. You say, why water? What's water? What's about water in beehive? That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Mm, maybe you are right, maybe you are not. But for this modification of beehive, it's not dangerous. Because in a summertime, when you put here this metallic sheet on the roof and plastic on the downware, the water will be concentrated on plastic inside beehive. You say again, dangerous not dangerous at all because this water will be used by honeybees inside beehive very easily can be used so honeybees don't need to take water inside beehive they will use internal water that's interesting very funny you will say so we do not spend time we do not spend efforts to collect water outside and also this water usually concentrated somewhere just on these metallic parts and on this part of a foundation which is propolized which is propolized by the way you can see this is a little bit brown foundation why because this is propolized foundation and it it smells by the way it smells with propolis so a little bit brown this is fresh one foundation yellow and this is not old one not after hatching honeybees this is just propolized foundation. Or, for example, this is small. Again, this is a fresh one. This is just fresh foundation. And this one, again, brown, already also propolized. So brown color. That's not already second use, second part, second time after hatching. No, this is a propolized for foundation. So water which is used inside, propolized, so this is healthy water so honeybees just saving the effort saving time and they use healthy water inside beehive so this is a second feature of this beehive and also for this beehive as i said we use it two different modifications sorry for a long story but i need to show you this is one modification and this is a second modification so this is box from the middle from the middle modification and why it is used for different because colony can be bigger and smaller so you can be stronger you can be just a little bit weaker as a wo woman woman is can easily use uh, this modification because it's lighter not so heavy eight frames eight frames is it to dismount easy to remove if it, if you are just stronger man so 
you can work with a bigger one because it needs uh, some movement sometimes so of course this will be more heavy but more productive as well because colony will be very strong and very big and on the top on the top side so there is a second chamber and the second chamber so you see the down chamber is here longer longer it's used like that in the longer chamber we stand in in this positioning in this positioning and on the top we put again on the second chamber frames like that so this is dadan frames and down there this is ukrainian standard frames and why again we use it so when we use this type of uh, construction again it's it's a good to make united construction for for beehive for when we use the second part like that so honeybees will collect only honey on the top chamber so on upper chamber will be especially only for collecting harvest so for harvesting so that's why middle part will be here eight 12 frames 12 frames in the middle more like this standing here standing here and on the top will be eight frames in this crossed positioning again so i can show you like this so this frame standing like this and again and we put on the top these frames like that yeah so we are standing in this cross positioning and again you can say they will be attached too much will be very difficult to dismount frames uh, not at all not at all because frames connected only it in eight or uh, connected here in several points one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve eleven twelve uh, in twelve parts here this cross points so that's why they can be easily dismounted they are not completely attached to each other all frames between two chambers but when they are standing like this again I, I can repeat it there will be no gap between chambers so honeybees will easy move from one chamber to another so and they create just united colony it's quite useful for growth of the colony so they're developing very quickly they grow very fast so they're becoming stronger and strong colony as you know will collect more honey is for sure so that's uh, kind of a construction which we use here in ukraine and this is called a ukrainian beehive of modification of vasil priyatilinka ukrainian beekeeper so i hope so maybe i will take uh, another part of this video i can open one of uh, these uh, beehives and we can see what's going inside and again i repeat when we mount second chamber we put here frames like this in a cross positioning and again we cut it with a plastic on the top we cut it with plastic and put on the top metallic sheet like this and it's already proven for during the uh, last uh, nine years that it's working for collecting water inside beehive and it's very useful productive for the colony to use internal water it's healthy easy for honeybees don't spend uh, too much time to take water from outside and they don't use actually too much uh, efforts for ventilation this water is just easily used from inside and because of here plastic as i, I repeat again we can look inside how colony is growing so when it's plastic you can easily open plastic or close plastic and you don't need to uh, disturb your honeybees disturb your honeybees because they're still working you don't need uh, some honeybees uh, some beekeepers to use all the time check it what's going on here just uh, the queen is uh, just uh, laying eggs or not laying eggs okay very important put it again oh, laying eggs or not laying eggs oh not laying eggs then difficult difficult 
checking it uh, very often. No, for this construction, we do not open all these chambers. The chambers are working themselves all together. This is a, some kind of a peculiarities of technology. That's not easy to do, discuss about it uh, during 15, 20 minutes, even now, immediately, step by step. You can recognize all these uh, features of technology in my next video from this interesting apiary and I hope so. I attracted your attention to this kind of beehive and uh, Vasily is coming very soon. We will open several beehives and we'll show you how it's working, what is inside and today this is time for harvesting. So we just came today to take honey. So this will be a very pleasant and good day. So that's why I go use just this break because he's busy at this moment. Just to tell a little bit more about all these frames, about the changes in these frames, and to say that this modification of frame with the metallic top bar is really very effective. So you can try, you can order this beehive, and you can mount it in your area where you live. So you can use it as a like a weekend beehive because it used less work as possible. Actually, it's very useful if you are busy with your business. If your business, you are not a professional beekeeper. So it will be easy for you to manage it. But if you are professional, you can also recognize that this beehive is quite useful because this beehive is healthy for honeybees. Also easy to manage and quite a very good in production, even without uh, transportation, without moving outside your apiary, it will give you just a good harvest of honey. I think we will show it today what is inside the second chamber and how, how much honey we have collected already till now on the 28th day of June. We will see inside. So thank you for watching. Press like if you were surprised or interested in this construction of Ukrainian beehive and I will tell you more stories in my next videos from Apiary of Vasil Priyatinenka and from laboratory and oh, you can see some uh, very detailed explanation in my presentation in Apislavia and Apimondia and other conferences in Russian and also in English for sure in Apislavia and Apimondia so and order from Vasil Priyatinenko this beehive will be very useful and productive in your area, in your country, in your city, in your village, in your interesting little place. And so, and you can write your comments. It will be interesting for us. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. Bye bye.